So we're in the MBFL again, MX5. This one has, of course, a VVT. And we're playing around with the VVT itself. Uh, it's closed loop VVT on this car uh, and on our ME221. And it's worth pointing out that all of our ECUs feature this algorithm. So if you fit a VVT head into a Mark 1, you can use one of the spare programmable outputs and drive the VVT solenoid with it, and you'll have full VVT control. So the point of VVT is to vary the intake cam relation to the crank. Um, we won't get into the, into, the, into the full theory of how it works with, uh, with, with, with flow and so on. However, what we will do is, for the sake of this car, which is an OEM car, is just work out the best rough idea of what the VVT advance should be. And the way we're going to do that is we're on the rolling road here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a run. We're going to set all of these numbers. All, all, all of these, these are the advanced degrees, the target we want to run the cam at. We've already tuned the PID, so that's set for this valve. We're going to first of all do a run with them all set to 10 degrees. Now, the cam's minimum on this engine is actually um, about 17. So we're, we're going to run there anyway at 10. So we're going to do a power run. Now, the fueling, of course, will change uh, with respect to this because we are going to get a different flow. But as long as it's safe, and we're not going to worry too much about the final optimization. This is purely an experiment to see what we can get in terms of power in the mid range and so on. So let's do a run. And it's, it's So let's just do that. Select the whole map. Press backspace. Oh, want to apply a trim. We want to. One hand is never much fun. Uh, set the whole thing to 30. <laughs> Sounds like a bad joke. So we're now set to 30, and immediately the cam advance has indeed found its target of 30. We're going to do a run at 30 now, watching the dyno and see how this compares to that run that we just did. Uh, focusing with a run there on 10. So let's, let's load on and then do a run. So look at that. The mid range has come straight up there. Okay, so we can carry on tuning it. And what we can do, because this is varied across, let me zoom out, across RPM. What we can do is actually change these fields so we can do the runs back to back 30, 40, 50, up to 55 degrees on this engine, runs all the way through. And what we can do then is look at the dyno and where the lines cross on the RPM chart there, where they actually cross, we can work out the points at which we should change the angles and get the best from the advance across the whole rev range. So for example, if at 30 degrees we have more torque at the bottom end, uh, less at the top, but at 50 degrees we have more torque at the, at the, at the top and less at the bottom, then we could work out which, where the lines cross on the dyno plot, where they actually cross over, and at that point on our map here, on RPM, change that point there. So we can actually tune the VVT to get the best from the engine. Um, and that's it really, it's, it's mainly just a demonstration of the VVT in action. It's working very well, the tracking, the targeting is, is excellent. And uh, yeah, let's get on and get it tuned and get the OEM map finished. Cheers.